it's great to have all you guys here. We'll get started um, on our 20th day of prayer and uh, just the, all the thoughts and all the things that we've been doing. I hope and pray that uh, you've <clears throat> you've been continuing to pray about your spirit, your own spiritual well-being and growth, your uh, stewardship in life. And then this week has been all about evangelism or engaging people who don't know Jesus and um, how to <clears throat> go about that, create our story, um, praying for the needs of people, serving the needs of people. Um, today is just simply saying <clears throat> what we're focusing on is praying for those I will invite to church during the Christmas season. And so uh, Thanksgiving's coming up, and then right after that, we go headlong into the, the Christmas season. It's almost hard to believe that uh, Christmas is already here in 2024. And so um, <clears throat> I like this passage of Scripture when we talk about inviting, we, we really talk about saying, hey, you know, I, what, what I, I have faith in, what I believe in, um, I want you to experience. And so the first thing that we're asking people and inviting people to is a relationship with Jesus. I, I hope and pray that that's your number one experience. Um, uh, you know, what we do on Sundays is great. What we do, and I believe in it 100%. I don't, I, you know, I, I think it's, it's a, a great place for anyone to find Jesus and and to grow in their in their walks with God, but the the first and foremost part is for us to invite people into a a, a Jesus relationship, a relationship that we have. We want them to experience the same thing, and um, I think for most of us, if we will engage in um, first our own relationship with Jesus, hopefully you guys are just excited and and just uh thrilled about this relationship that we have with Jesus that that can not compare to anything else that's what's so important is a relationship with the almighty god a relationship with Jesus Christ and and when we develop that relationship it uh makes us want to bring others into it so the first thing that has to be uh <clears throat> involved in inviting is our own excitement about where uh, our relationship is with Christ. And then um, our, our church, um, our people that we hang out with, you know, we're, we're not inviting people to a building. There's lots of buildings that people could go to, but we're inviting them into a fellowship, a group of people that are living out their faith in an exciting, in a loving, caring, gracious way. And so um, when we invite, um, we want them to come to a place where uh, we love, where we believe, you know, you and I, uh, if we have a place that we like, it's especially like for the newest restaurant that we find or something like that, then um, we're, we're asking people to come in and be a part of a great place. I, if, you know, I'll tell you the best restaurant to go to, or I'll tell you the best uh, grocery store or my best customer service experience, uh, all of those places might be reasons that I would invite you in. And so uh, prayerfully, that's where our church has, is at as well. So good to see you guys, uh, Vicki and Nicole. Great to have you guys with us. So in verse, uh, in chapter, <clears throat> I'm sorry, John chapter one, verse 43, it says this, it says the next day, Jesus decided to leave Galilee, finding Philip. He said to him, follow me. Philip, like Andrew and Peter was <clears throat> from the town of Bethsaida. Uh, Philip found Nathaniel and told him, we have found the one Moses wrote about in the law and about whom the prophets also wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nazareth, can any good thing come uh, come from there? Uh, <clears throat> Nathaniel asked, come and see, said Philip. And that's, that's the key phrase right there, come and see. Uh, when Jesus saw Nathaniel approaching, he said of him, here truly is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. How do you know me, Nathaniel said. Jesus answered, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. Then Nathaniel declared, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. So there's just this amazing little uh, story and transition that happens here. And the power of this, this story is simply that um, Philip invited Nathaniel. And Nathaniel uh, you know, and, and and Philip said, "Hey, look who, who we found. We found Jesus. We found the Messiah that's been written about years and years for years and years. And here he is. 
And so Nathaniel, or Philip invites Nathaniel. Nathaniel then goes and experiences Jesus. And Jesus shows himself to him. Jesus reveals um, who he is. And uh, Nathaniel puts his faith in Christ. That's a simple process. Simple process. Inviting. Inviting people in. And inviting people to be a part of uh, <clears throat> what, what they're experiencing. So my my encouragement is one. I hope and pray, Alfredo. Good to see you, man. Um, <clears throat> the first thing is get excited about your own faith, and then when you're excited about your own faith, you're you're excited about inviting people in. Uh, get excited about the Jesus that loves you. Get excited about the Jesus that saves you. Get excited about the Jesus that has made your sins go away. Get excited about uh, all of these things, and as you are excited about it you will be excited enough to invite people into your in into our uh, a walk with Jesus introduce them to Jesus do the come and see i think it's really important that we uh use all the tools we have and today we have a lot of tools um they can you can invite them hey why don't you check my church out on online go to journeychurchventura.com and watch some of our services and that it gets it gives them a taste but most importantly it gives them a taste of Jesus again you can tell them your story you can invite them into a relationship with Jesus and um, you can invite them into a relationship with journey and and check out your church and check out um, what what you like about it and um, <clears throat> it's an easy tool to use and uh, we have an app, we have a, a website, we have all the, the tools to invite and let people investigate where uh, they might want to go and see if they connect, invite people to Christmas Eve. That's another kind of a natural experience um, <clears throat> to where they can go. But I think, it, you know, come and see us is a really important part of uh, the whole invite process. And we learn that from Philip when he invites uh, Nathaniel in and uh, says, come and see. And <clears throat> and so there's a, a, a really powerful reality there. And I think what we have to understand is if we don't focus on something, it won't get done. If we don't focus on something, it won't get done. And so why why are we focusing on um, 21 days of prayer? Because it, it's essential that we pray. It's essential that we pray. It's the, it's the plowing of the ground, as we talked about earlier, um, to... <clears throat> see people come to Christ. And um, when we do that, then uh, lives change. And <clears throat> so my encouragement is to focus, focus in these next Christmas season to invite, invite as many people as you can. And why as many people? I mean, people that you know, people you don't know. Um, first Timothy 2 says this, I urge then first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people. We've talked about this passage for kings and all those in authority that we may have live peaceful and quiet lives and all godliness and holiness. Pray for our leaders. This is good and pleases God our Savior who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. We have to believe that. We have to believe that God wants everyone, not, not just the, the, the ones we're familiar with or comfortable with, but everyone to come to a knowledge of the truth, to be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. God desires all of us, all of us to be saved. And so my encouragement today is don't don't uh, isolate who needs to be at church. Don't don't isolate that. Don't don't kind of make it, oh, well, that person needs it and this person, I don't like this person, so I'm not gonna invite. The, invite everybody, everybody to a relationship with Jesus because that's what Jesus wants. And then last, I think it's really uh, good to focus on this idea. In Luke 19, it says, But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I've cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Jesus didn't come to uh, be selective about who he picks. He came to seek and to save everyone who's lost. And um, <clears throat> lost isn't a good a good term. It's not somebody that everybody likes to uh, to think about being lost. But the truth is, if they don't, if we don't have the light, if we don't give people the hope, 
um, if we don't invite people in, then um, they will remain lost. Hey, Julia. And so it's really incredible opportunity for us to invite. Invite people in. Know that uh, when you invite, you're part of the seeking and saving. You're, you're part of the, the, the knocking on the door of the hearts of those that need Jesus. And it's critical that we invite. Um, <clears throat> the, the statistics show in church that uh, most people who come to Christ were invited by a friend. And I just encourage you today to invite someone. Invite uh, as many people as you can. Take a moment and just love on people and uh <clears throat> invite them in, invite them to uh, come and see, test the waters, uh, s- check us out online, check us out any way they can. Most importantly, you're the connection. Um, make sure that you stay connected to them and love them. And so let's pray for those that we're going to invite uh, to a relationship with Jesus and to a Christmas event, a Sunday service, um, whatever it may be. It's going to be a great Christmas season. And let's believe God to act on our behalf as we invite people um, into a relationship with him. Father God, I just thank you so much for each person that's joined us this morning. I thank you, God, for their commitment, their time, their energy um, to focus on inviting people into a relationship with you. Lord, I pray that you help us. You're the best thing that's happened to us. You're the most incredible thing that's given us hope and joy and peace and comfort. You're the one that's helped us through the difficult times and and the sad times and the grieving times. Lord, you're there for all of us. And I pray right now in Jesus' name that you would help us all, that you would give us the ability and opportunity to invite people into a relationship with you. Help us, Lord, to invite them to our church and invite them to... uh, Come together and, and see and experience what you're doing in the lives of, uh, of other believers. Lord, and, and even if they're not believers, we believe that you are opening their heart. We believe that you're preparing the ground that, uh, <clears throat> that they are uh, of their heart. And I, I believe, Lord, that they will be receptive of the seed of the gospel into their hearts and lives. Lord, I pray for uh, people around me um, that my neighbors, my friends, my family, Lord, as as I'm with them, give me the boldness to invite them. Give me the boldness and, and confidence to invite them in to a relationship with you, Lord, for you will not disappoint. You will not um, <clears throat> turn them away. You will only love them. You will give them that sense of peace and comfort, Lord, to know that uh, there is a, a Redeemer, there's a Savior, there's a, a someone who will forgive them of their sins and give them hope for eternal life. Lord, I pray that you help us to be inviters, pe- people that will be excited about our faith, so much so that we cannot do anything but share it with others. I thank you and I praise you for that, God. And Lord, as this day goes on, give us people in our minds and our hearts to pray for. Give us people that we can continue to um, lift up and hold up before you and invite you into a relationship with you. We thank you and praise you for that, God. I pray you bless every heart right here. I pray, Father, for the needs that are represented uh, in every individual that will see this video. I pray that you meet them at their point of need. And we thank you and praise you, God, that you care about us, that we can lay our cares and, and needs before you. And we give you thanks for it. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow. Well, it's great to have all you guys here. And I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll continue to uh, believe that uh, the Lord's going to put people in our path to invite and to bring uh, to a relationship with Christ, most importantly, and to church. And so I want to encourage you guys, have a great day. Um, keep your eyes and ears open for that opportunity to invite. And, uh, and don't forget, you don't have to be the, the solution. You just have to be the, the method or the, the conduit um, for God to move. And when God moves... Um, he'll move through you and the consequence and the result is not up to you. It's up to him and he will answer your prayers. All right. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. We're going to have day 21 tomorrow morning, 730. Don't miss it. I got a little nugget that I'm excited to share with you guys uh, tomorrow morning before church. And uh, tomorrow we're going to have a great day at Journey. So I invite everybody. I invite everybody to be there. All right. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye bye.